हेलो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द बोन मार्फोजेनेटिक प्रोटीन बी एम पी एंड सिग्नलिंग पाथवे इन डिवेलपमेंट एंड ह्यूमन डिजीज वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट सेपरेटली द डिवेलपमेंट एंड ह्यूमन डिजीज सो रिमेंबर दैट दिस इज लेट्स बिगिन टू अंडरस्टैंड विद द फोकसिंग टू फोकस द लेक्चर so the group of signaling molecule that belong to the transforming growth factor beta the tgfb uh, the tgf beta the transforming growth factor beta super family of proteins crucial role in all organ system so the uh, it is very crucial role in all organ system for development growth morphogenesis etc embryogenesis and development as well as adult tissue homeostasis but the previously it will, will it has discovered about the bone morphogenetic protein but later on there is a lot of uh, research which that shows the different function this is the cell and nucleus and this is the cytoplasm inside and the type 1 and 2 receptor are present the bmp receptor and in this way remember this is the co receptor also example is endoglin this is the bmp and the nog nogin nogin is the extracellular modulator will bind with the bmp will not allow to bind with the type 2 or 1 receptor but whenever the requirement will be so the bmp will be released from the nogin to bind with the type 2 or 1 receptor will function differently let's begin to understand the general function this is the intracellular modulator the fkb uh, p receptor so in this way the intracellular smad protein 1 5 8 which that will be uh, autophosphorylation after the bmp binding will lead to smad 1 5 and 8 phosphorylation so in this way also the transforming growth factor beta Uh, also can bind to form this activity this inhibitor is a smad 8 and 7 remember the smad 1 5 8 phosphorylation with the smad 4 and in this way the smad 4 will bind is the conjugated conjugation the will lead to smad 4 uh, will lead to conjugate and in this way the transcriptional factor will be formed this transcriptional factor will be bound with a specific region of the dna containing a region it lead to genotype will show the phenotype via expression of that genes the co receptor co activator also bind with the with the with this protein on the other hand here is a non canonical pathway that was the canonical pathway this is the non canonical pathway example is map kinase and mtor c1 complex which that will lead to phosphorylation to express more morphogenesis the genes activation will lead to response in translation of the protein the protein synthesis growth of organ cell division proliferation of cell differentiation of cell development of tissue and organogenesis and embryogenesis so bones also develop through this bmp pathway but also a lot of function related to the disease progression via a decrease of the receptor or increase of the receptor availability for example the here is the adipose tissue the bmp receptor 1a and bmp receptor 2 when increase will lead to obesity the adipose tissue while the musculoskeletal system the bmp1 receptor and the act receptor 1a and the bmp5 receptor and bmp14 receptor will lead to cause many complication like myer syndrome osteogenesis imperfecta smad 4 increase when inside the intracellular and fibro dysplasia ossificans progressiva in case of urinary system the bmp7 when decrease will lead to urinary system the cacut uh, c a c u t 
a bmp4 bmp7 loss of function will lead to congenital anomalies of the kidney and urinary tract dysfunction and a lot of things and you know the let's begin to understand the cardiovascular and pulmonary system the cardiovascular system the endoglin and the bmprs bmp receptor 2 will decrease when and loss of function of bmpr2 receptor will lead to pulmonary arterial hypertension and a lot of more process and more disorders on the other hand let's begin to understand about the neurological the neurological uh, uh, related to the brain so the brain the bone morphogenetic protein the transforming growth factor beta when bind the neurological ophthalmic system and colum uh, coloboma the bmp7 loss of the function and a a a am the anophthalmia and microphthalmia which that is due to the bmp4 loss of function so in this way a lot of disease can be progressed due to this abnormality decrease or increase of the bmp or intracellular smad protein is used for the cascade of phosphorylation intracellularly so remember anyhow this digestive system the gastrointestinal tract the juvenile polyposis can be occur due to the smad4 and bmp or uh, bmp receptor a loss of function and the barrett esophagus the b the bmp4 when increase will lead to barrett esophagus so anyhow this is a bone morphogenetic protein bmp signaling in development and human disease let's begin to understand the summarization the uh, basically the ligands can be a tumor uh, transforming growth factor beta activin and nodal gdf the uh, uh, and bmp as well as amh on the other hand the receptor type 1 and 2 is involving while the uh, intracellular signaling molecule is the receptor smad and smad 1 2 3 4 5 8 and 9 as well as the cosmad the smad 4 is involving while the inhibitor is the smad 1 smad uh, basically the inhibitor is smad 8 and 7 will be regulate when exceed as compared to the normal function will lead to cause disease so we have discussed about in this video bone morphogenetic protein bmp signaling in development and human disease so i hope you make sense about the signaling pathway of the transforming growth factor beta or bmp as well as we have learned about the uh, signaling pathway as well as the disease progression due to the abnormalities of the bmp receptor and transforming growth factor beta receptor for example is known as the bmp receptor also the type 2 and 1 receptor i hope you make sense if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share and give the comment below and uh, give the suggestion for making a new video if you like so please show please make sure to subscribe thanks for watching see in the next video for this time bye